Eddie Leonsky was a serial killer who strangled three women to death over a period of 15 days in May of 1942 during Melbourne's brownout. Before he killed, he would consume large amounts of alcohol and would make his own personal cocktail that consisted of beer, whiskey, milk, chilli peppers, ketchup, mustard and salt. So here we are with the whole box and dice. We've got our salt, we've got our milk, we've got our beer, our mustard, our tomato sauce, our whiskey, and of course, our two little chili the peppers two here. little chilies. 12 cents at the IGA. A bargain. Yep. All right. So what are we thinking ratio here? We'll go half a can of beer. Half a can of beer each. Half of this uh, little 50 ml bottle of Johnny Walker here and a generous squeeze of the tomato and mustard probably a quarter of a glass of milk each and a nice generous sprinkle of, sprinkle of salt I reckon uh, Let's get going All Put right. the beer in first The beer, here we go There'll be plenty of froth at the top, but it'll simmer down as it always does. Uh, we don't have to fill them to the brim. No, we certainly don't. It's... Oh wait, I forgot to say. I'll have one Leonski, please. Oh yes, uh, that'll be up in two seconds. Do you know how to make that? I've been trained in the art. Our little All right, the whiskey. This was a big expense for us. All right, half each. That's about half. A bit more in there. And I'm then, thinking the milk next. Yep. A quarter. <laughs> oh boy. This is where it gets interesting. This is going to be interesting. Oh my goodness. So oh, it completely takes over the color. Yeah, it does. We were predicting. Oh, you were predicting like a more black color. I was thinking yeah. a more brown color. I think it still will be brown when you mix the sauce and all that and yep. mustard in. So right now it just looks, oh, actually looks a bit weird, doesn't it? It does. The elements need to kind of contain themselves more creeps. Like that doesn't look great. <laughs> no, it doesn't. A here. A generous squeeze of tomato sauce in each. Yeah. <laughs> he just <laughs> applied the pressure to it, oh, no yeah. worries. Generous squeeze, that's what he would have done himself, my good friend. Yeah. Yeah, we think Leonski just grabbed whatever was around. Yeah. We and still don't know why he made these drinks, but he was also a man who strangled three women because he wanted their voices. So mm -hmm. not, ma not much makes sense with Leonski. Now, what do we do? Do we put these chilies in the way they are or do we chop them up? I don't mind either way. Well... There's benefits to both. If you are... I just, well... Oh, Oh boy, look at that, it's getting red. Oh, oh that's the tomato sauce. Oh yeah, look at this one. It's just like in all sorts of weird parts. Yeah, oh, it's getting... Oh, goodness. Oh. It's separating It looks here. like we got banana in there, but we don't. It smells like banana too. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh boy. And it's getting brown. And what was Leonski called? He was the brown out strangler, my good friend. And he would drink this before he went after his victims. Uh-huh. In the brown out. Are we just chopping these in the way they are? Oh, I was kind of thinking like theatrics, just like squeeze it in oh, there like, my. like blood. I wouldn't want to bloody rub my eyes afterwards. Who cares? But you know what? I'll give it Here a go. go. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're going in there. Chuck there the skin go. in there too. Yeah. <laughs> and the same applies for this next one. You would never have heard of uh, chili juice, so I guess this is a good reason why. I still can't believe how prominent the milk is. I know. When we mix it through, it'll be a little bit better. It looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mix this bad boy. Just to protect my eyes a little bit, mate. Oh, no, don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, that's the... Oh, uh, nice yeah, it's a light brown we were predicting, I reckon. The seeds will, uh, they'll be a good time, I reckon. <laughs> now, I wonder if this will come out the same. I was comparing it before we stirred it. Yeah, it was pretty white. Yeah, it looks a little more white than the other one. 
Now let's get in the texture. Now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, right. but you can yes. see little white particles just traveling down the bottom of the glass ever so slightly. You can turn it around if you want. It's pretty hard to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. And we've got a nice little white to red sort of froth on the top here. And that'll be mostly from the milk and the chili and, of course, the beer, of course. So. It's weird. We did the exact same, but this one's a lot... The first one here's a lot darker. Mm. Um, I guess I'll be up first. Am I drinking? I'll do it first if you want. No, that's do you want to go first? Well, have a look at the top here. Oh my god, you can just see a black thing in there. I don't know what that is. It looks like probably the chili. Mm. Like in this one here. I think it's like it just is, a yeah. darker thing on top. Yeah, I reckon that is. Hey. Still looks like banana to me. <laughs> I'll just pretend it's a. Like a, banana, and then we just put a raspberry in there. <laughs> yep, it looks it's nice. a banana smoothie. That one's more appetizing, I reckon. Mm. Now, what are we doing? Are we drinking the whole thing at once? Um, or just having a good. I, I think we will drink the whole thing, but like the first thing, take a decent mouthful, don't like just do a little. Mm -hmm. Like, actually. Alright. And you got to swallow. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Yeah, what's it smell like? <laughs> do I, I, I don't, don't, I don't know, even do know how I? to... I don't even know how to describe this. It's like... But is it banana? It smells like... Oh man. It's like a... It's like a hot... Hot chili tomato sauce. Uh, no, I can't describe it. I can't describe it. It's... It smells like a bloody leaf. Honestly, that's what it smells like. Mm. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. He's done it. Jay, I tell you what. <laughs> no. No, no, <laughs> Don't no. Don't say it's good. For everything we mix through there, it's not as bad as it seems. Yeah. I was th oh, me and you were talking about this earlier. Like it's like when you were a kid and you used to like mix soft drinks and stuff. Mm. I feel like that's just what Leon Skin was doing, just throwing a bit of everything in there. Yeah. We'll have another oh, go. Oh boy. He loves it. Mm. He loves it. On second drink it's not as good. Oh. So it was good to start with. Yeah. I think you just have bad expectations just looking yeah. at it. Oh, I'm gonna have a look at mine here again. Oh boy, that looks even worse. It looks like a mac oh. and cheese is in there. All right, I want mine. All right. Stop having all the fun. <laughs> oh, we've got the uh, Leonski here, mate, and it's your turn to uh, have a shot here. I guess I should have a smell too. Yep. Now, how would you describe that smell? It's really hard to describe, isn't it? Oh. The closest thing I could say it smells like is it smells like walnut. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. It smells like vomit or someone who's eaten banana. Kind of looks like vomit too, I guess. Wow. Here we go, big mouthful. It's spicier than I thought it'd be. Mm. With just one little chilli in it. When you squeeze it out, the seeds come out, and the seeds are probably the spiciest part of the chili, so... <laughs> it's get. actually, like, really hot. Like, we had... Oh, I guess we didn't have... I was going to say we had nachos for tea, but... You can taste the mustard, can't you? It, it's pretty prominent. I couldn't, but hold on. I'll have a taste of it. No, I can't taste the mustard, mm. honestly. Maybe I squeezed too much in mine. Have a look at the top now. You can just see the chili. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not fun to look at. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what actually looks disgusting. The bottom now. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's <laughs> not fun. <laughs> it's not your average pint at the uh, the pub. That's for sure. Yeah. And Leonski, he's not an average pint at the pub himself, is he? No. So, uh... Tell your friends. <laughs> the Leonski, we gave you the instructions. Let's make it a thing. 
like, subscribe, get it to your local bar. It'll oh, start circulating. Let's actually review it out of ten of like, like ten like. One is like the most disgusting thing you've ever had, and ten is a nice iced coffee. Ten's your favourite drink. Okay. Um, I would say. I would say a five, just because it's gone. It's surpassed expectations. Yeah, I'd probably say a five too. Like, I've had coffees that are worse than this. Mm. It's. Um, I was expecting a one or a two easily, and it's. Uh, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. So. Yeah. And we didn't even go to vomit. So. Mm. You know that's what it smells like. On the first or you know the first couple of drinks, it does sit a little bit uneasy in your stomach, but. I reckon it's something that old mate would have got a, uh, pretty used to after a while, so... Yeah, well, we said earlier, but the thing is, like... So he would sit in a bar and drink, like, 25, 30 drinks of beer. Mm-hmm. And at some stage he would start doing this. You know, I don't know why, because it doesn't make it go down easier. Well, when people are drunk, they just tend to do sillier things than they generally would so I'd say that's probably part of his motive and then obviously you know it's fueled him to do what he did um, that's probably just been at oh, the, yeah. the back of his mind you know and then the alcohol's kind of yeah exacerbated that so yeah. he um he, he Leonski was a psychotic like he was insane but um he knew he would never kill if he was sober. So he went to bars and drunk alcohol knowing it would turn him into a killer and he didn't stop. So he's, it's his own, it's his own, like he's done it even though he's in his end. Mm-hmm. But he could have just not have, gee, the spices. It gets here, doesn't it's it? still there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think um, if you were to get the Leonski in a pub, you'd probably order as a shot, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not a drink that you'd probably have in you know one full sitting a sort of pot. Yeah, you're not going to be sitting there zipping it. Tell you mm. that much. It's a shot drink, that's for sure. Yeah, I'd pay five bucks for that as a shot. Five dollar Leontiki shot at your local bar. Get amongst it. If you own a bar and you're watching this, maybe uh, consider your, your demographic, and you know they might be interested in this too. All right. There we go. Cheers. Cheers indeed.